Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you the differences between the Shimano 105 R7150 DI2 12 speed derailleur and the Ortigra R8150 12 speed DI2 derailleur. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at them. So here we have the Shimano Ortigra, this is the R8150 DI2 rear derailleur. And we also have the 105, the R7150 DI2 derailleur here. So we'll get into doing a few measurements on them later on, show you the uh, differences. But the main thing is obviously the Ortigra, you can get this as a 30 cassette on here, and you can also get a 34 cassette. Now with the the 105 you'll be able to get a 36 tooth cassette so um, someone was asking can you fit a 36 tooth using the Ortega Dralia can you just purchase the cassette and fit it and would there be enough adjustment to fit that on there so with these Dralias for the adjustment for the B screw which is up there you get the gauges like this now with the 105 as you can see on there it's got 36 and 34 tooth and on the this is all Tigra and the Dura Race so you've got 28, 30 and 34 so you basically just rest that on that plate there and then you can adjust your B screw and set that up. So if you was getting a, a 36 tooth cassette, you'd have the 105 gauge, for instance, then you could set it up by resting that on there. Now the cassette would be a lot larger around here. Because obviously it's a 30 tooth, like I said, so it'd be six teeth bigger round on the largest one there, obviously it's still 11 on the smallest one so with that gauge you rest that in there but someone was saying is there enough adjustment on that to get that down far enough away as you can see there or with a 36 tooth cassette if you can see that it says 36 here and the plate so it's effectively sitting on there it's sitting on the plate here and the 36 the 34 is that far away so that's quite a big gap between them but the 36 tooth cassette only has a very small gap between the plate and the actual uh, teeth on the largest sprocket the 36 tooth which is the 34 the gap's a lot bigger between the plate if you can see that so what we do is we just wind that B screw and turn it and you see this gap here open up I'll just turn that in like I'll show you in a, in a minute I'll remove the two B screws out of each derailleur just to show you but we'll just wind this in all the way like that so that goes in I'll wind in until it stops so that's basically there yep that's about there so I'll just show you that gap a bit better you can see this gap here so for instance if that was sitting in there on that plate there like that and it says 36 on it which is the line closest to the plate that means you still have that much so even if the, the uh, sprocket is not even going to be it's not certainly not going to be that big extra it's only six tooth bigger so even if it was there even and the plate was I moved that plate back up to there so even the teeth on the cassette will obviously be on that black line where it says 36 so even if it moved back up that far used the cassette was still this much bigger right down to where it says 36 
so it could be that much bigger and then you could effectively just wind that in say if it was there you just wind that plate back up like that until it was touching I'll just wind it back in say it was there for instance so that was it there so the cassette could be all the way down to where it says 36 which is that line here is resting on the plate the teeth would be here just there so the gap only be that much and obviously that's a 30 so you've got all the way down here to a 36 and there's loads of adjustment left on the dry list still so I'm pretty sure it would easily accommodate the 36 in there on the Ultegra Dralia but what we do is we just show you a couple of things on each Dralia anyway um, just so you can see them the measurements so to speak so there we have B screws out of both of them the 105 and the Ultegra and as you can see they're exactly the same length there's no difference in them, they're the same. So we have the 105 Dralia. Now on the cage, we'll put that between the centres of the uh, jockey wheel bolts there. And then we'll just hold that up to the Ultegra. And as you can see there, how much, how much more how much longer it is so I've already measured it and that gap the distance extra so the cage between the jockey wheels the distance is five millimeters so five millimeters for more so it's five millimeters longer on the 105 than it is on the Ultegra so that's the gap between there and there so if you just take the Dralia like I said the 105 like that and just where where it pivots on the two points so you got that one and that one and then that one and that one for instance in there so if you just get that and just put it on there like that and then just take the Ultegra and put it on the same like that you can see it's exactly the same so that pivot point between there and there is the same and then we just use it on here on this on the Ultegra on this one we just put it on centre to centre there and then go back to 105 and see if that's what that's like that's exactly the same on those pivot points they're the same there for instance just showing you just in case you're wondering so that's a couple of things there but they're basically the same. We'll see the we'll just get a rough measurement of it. That'd be the same as well. Where your B screw is obviously going to come through and push, pushes out effectively through there, pushing in here and all in that gap. So the actual between there and there, the pivot point of it is the same on the 105 and the Ultegra, that's exactly the same. So this is the Ultegra. One thing that I can see is slightly different is if we measure that across there like that on there and then take that off and then get the 105 and put that on there as you can see it's just slightly just slightly different now I thought I'd show it just in case he's wondering but it's just slightly different not a lot in it only a millimetre or so about a millimetre maybe I don't know if that's because is effectively the same it's just this housing this plastic piece here on the end so to speak it's just slightly um, different shape to the Ultegra one 
just slightly uh, slightly different so I don't know if it's just a bit more chunky on the end there that makes up that difference so while we got them to uh, hand I'll just uh, pop them on the scale for you so you can see it's the old Tigra so 261 grams for the old Tigra and we've got the 105 302 grams for the 105 so we got the Ortigra and the 105 as you saw them on the scales obviously the 105's um, heavier just because the materials used in them but with the uh, jockey wheels this 105 they don't have bearings in these in the centre it's just two plates on the edge with the shaft going through and just a sleeve in the middle of them that's all there is just a sleeve there no no actual bearing no cartridge bearing in there so that's just a little flick like that you see that spin spins lovely that's the 105 or Tigra with the bearing in the middle So basically, it only spin not, probably about not even one turn. Just thought that was interesting. So with these gauges, if I just overlay, this is the one for the Ortigra. So if I let overlay the 105 over the top of it, and then drop it down so it's its lone line with the bottom like that the 36 tooth on the 105 gauge like that where it's in line the bottom is just slightly you won't be able to see it on camera if I move the other gauge away it's just literally a millimeter if that different to if you add a 34 cassette or Tigra cassette on or 105 cassette 34 which is marked on there if you overlay it on there so the 105 with a 36 tooth cassette is basically the equivalent of having it's just a bit bigger gap that's all about a millimetre difference to if you add the 34 cassette on the Altigra so that's all it is about a millimetre difference on the B-screw adjustment between the 36 and the Altigra 34 on there obviously the 105 34 is right up there but using the Altigra gauge the 34 is down here if you see the difference which corresponds to a 36 tooth with the 105 gauge so in other words the 36 tooth should fit with the Ortigra Dralia you just would adjust it the same as the 34 so you could use the Ortigra gauge put the 36 cassette on and adjust it to where it says 34 and just open the gap up about a millimetre if that and it would be exactly set up for a 36 tooth on an Altigra. So another thing I did while I had the two derailleurs was I took the cage off the 105 and put it on the Altigra. So it does actually fit on there, but the problem you find is if you're looking, say, behind the derailleur at the bottom jockey wheel, there'd be a lot of side-to-side -side movement, i.e. left-to-right movement, because it's accentuated by the time it gets to the bottom jockey wheel left to right in the derailleur so obviously that just affect your shifting anyway so it wouldn't be right and what it is is because the pin size is different on the 105 to the Altigra so when you put it in there's a lot of slop in it and it's accentuated by the time it gets to the bottom jockey wheel so anyway so I hope you found the video helpful if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content till next one ride safe and I'll see you then